my husband and I were able to get into Burma. And uh, we were up in the same mission station that Father Eric B. Hare was in at Undo. And we had no road, but we had a nice river launch. And the river Solween went down to the ocean, and all of our stuff went back and forth that way. Our mail came by mail the same way, by riverboat. And we, the Japanese had more or less ruined all the housing in the mission station there at Ondo. And so we were rebuilding houses. We had teak floors and we had bamboo and, and tile roofs. And it came time to put the tiles on the roofs. And so my husband went, had to go down to the ocean port in order to pick up the tiles. And so he got in the river boat with two of his workers, the river boat driver and one of his workers, and they, they sailed down the river for just about a day and a half trip down to Maulmain, which is the seaport. But halfway there, or I should say closer to the ocean, when the river got wide, he saw there was a boat that had foundered. Something had gone wrong, the engine wouldn't work, and they were stuck in the mud way out in the middle of the river, and they were afraid they were going to have to be there for hours and hours. And my husband is a very nice guy. He always, he, he always did more than he needed to. And so he said, well, look, I've got plenty of room in my boat. Why don't you just all climb in my boat and I'll take you where you need to go down at the port. So the people all got out of the boat and they all went down to the port and he delivered them to two or three different places in the, in the port. And they were so grateful. And so he went and he picked up the tiles for the roofs and everything was great. And he and his two helpers were turned around and started back up the river again to go back home. Well, he got up to a kind of a narrow place and all of a sudden from the shore, they got to shooting at them. And the guns were just going off and they were trying to shoot the boat. And they got a few, but they didn't get the people yet. But they said, come on in or we'll shoot you. So not thinking anything about wanting to get killed, they decided they'd go on in because there's no point in being dead. So anyway, they went on in and they, they uh, took them off the boat, guns pointing, and uh, there was a kind of a steep embankment there that they climbed up and these guys made them go ahead with their guns behind them, prodding them along. And they got to the top and when they got to the top, here was the, the chief that was doing all of this. They were the rebels that were fighting the Burmese and it was a, an awful mess there as far as the politics were concerned. But anyway, they had him up there with the guns pointing at him and he really didn't know what to do because what could you say? I mean, yes, I'm on the river. I'm going to build a house. So what? But anyway, pretty soon they could hear footsteps coming up that same embankment. And pretty soon a very nice looking woman came up and she took one look at the guy who had the gun pointing at Lenny and she said, what in the world are you doing? Do you know what this man is? I was stuck in the river. Our boat was stuck. We were there for hours. And this man who didn't know us, he came along and he took us all off of that boat that was stuck and he took us where we wanted to go and rescued us. Let him go. He does not deserve to be killed. Did he die? No, he got off the boat and went on up and we had nice tiles on our roof and everything went beautifully. And everybody thought this was really amazing. They said, you know, it must have been a miracle. Our, our local people were sure that God had worked a miracle to save his life and the life of the two guys.